You wanna run math stations? You want math workshop in your classroom? But you need some management strategies. You can use management and teach math vocabulary at the same time. Watch and see. I'd like to share two of my most successful strategies for incorporating vocabulary instruction into a classroom. The first one is this. List all the terms your students need to be successful on the state test or end of course exam. That's the list for team names. I live in Houston and a lot of people here cheer for <laughs> the Houston Astros or they cheer for the Rockets, but team names are not going to be on the state test. The vocabulary words will be. So they pick their team names from those. You still cheer the teams. Instead of the name of a sports team or a color, Students select a new team name from the list of the important words they need to pass the test. If they change names once a month for at least seven months of school, then that's 28 terms that the students will know with automaticity. Do you still have that list of terms your students need to know to pass the state test? We're about to use it again. A month before you begin a unit of instruction, select four of the words students might not typically use in their own daily conversations. One of those words becomes the freeze word for the week. Let's say our freeze word for this week is like terms. Students are working. I just happen to do excellent expressions. As soon as you say like terms, they stop, put their hands on their shoulders, and listen to your instruction. It's also a perfect time to have a quick 30 to 60 second intermittent reinforcement of the term like terms. So have your students turn to their partner and share why these two cards would not be able to be combined because they're not like terms. But these two cards would. Want more? Check out the information in the description and go to glennatabor.com. I have thousands of dollars worth of free math games and activities just for you.